SAP has introduced a new view uh, called the remediation view uh, for uh, in uh, uh, risk analysis reports. Okay, uh, but in order to use the remediation view, you need you need to activate uh, an OData service. Okay, uh, there are actually three OData services that you need to activate. And before you activate the old data services, you also need to check whether the SAP gateway has been activated or not. Okay, so before we activate the old data service, uh, services that we need, let us go and first check whether the gateway, SAP gateway has been activated in the system or not. Now, for both the steps, right, uh, activating of and checking the activation of gateway and maintaining those old data services there are two ways to do it okay one way is going through uh, actually three ways okay going through the spro transaction code uh, the way is if you know the transaction codes directly you can execute them or you can go through the transaction sm30 and look and use the views for those uh, tables Okay, where the configuration is uh, saved. Okay, so let's check uh, the transaction codes. Uh, or if you want to check SPRO, we can go through SPRO also. If you go to SPRO, RFM IMG, SAP NetWeaver, and then SAP Gateway, O Data Channel, and let's say Configuration, Connection Settings. And here there are two things, okay? So one, you have whether the gateway is activated or not. So you can click on activate or deactivate SAP gateway. And the SAP gateway is currently active. Otherwise, you get the activate button here, okay, if it was not. Okay, so you don't do anything if the gateway is active, okay? So we just leave it alone. Okay, the next step in this process is to check uh, whether the system aliases have been defined or not. So click on manage system aliases. Uh, when the SAP gateway is, is in, conf, uh, activated, you get the local system alias by default. Okay, so right now we don't need to do anything here. We don't need to create a system alias because this is an embedded uh, GRC Fury system deployment, so we don't do anything here for, like in our environment right now, so local is fine. Okay, so we'll see why this we need a system alias, okay? Next. So these are the, this is the SPRO way, right? Uh, and if we want to activate the old data services, right? So you need to go to administration, general settings, and then you say activate and maintain services. Okay, so this is the SPRO way of doing, you know, getting to the place that where you want to do it. Uh, for activating the OData service, the transaction code is slash n slash IW FND slash maint underscore service. Okay, so this is another way of getting to uh, maintaining the services. Okay, now let us go to SM30. And if you use the table view slash IWFND slash V underscore DF SYAL, with this table, when you go and maintain, you get to to the screen where you can maintain the system aliases, okay? So we just saw this in a different layout, but it's the same way, okay? So we're not going to do anything. So if you want to maintain, there is a transaction code for this too, okay? Just, I don't remember it right now, but uh, this is the one. Okay, so if we don't do anything here because we are, we are going to use the local system gateway. And uh, if you want to okay, 
so that is the transaction code for maintaining system aliases okay now let us go to transaction IWFND main service to maintain the OData services okay so the first OData service I think we already activated it is uh, okay I'm going to filter it and go and search for an OData service with uh, GRAC slash VIOL sun okay we will go and check that okay that's already done okay so this one is here now this is the OData service we need to activate for remediation view okay so if the service is not listed because we able to filter it because it's already in the list of service catalog if it is not you could go and search for this okay all right you can add service and then you go and add to that list okay now because it's already there and uh, we, there are two three things that you need to make a note of okay one for all the OData services okay you need to have and need to ensure that the, IC, the ICF SICF service is active and then there is a system alias associated with the OData service okay now if Fury and uh, if this GRC system is also your gateway system then you just need to assign the local system alias but in, in, in an embedded deployment you might want to use a other you know you might want to create a system alias and then use it okay now let's do this from the beginning right so let me go and first delete it okay I'm going to delete I'm going to pause the video and delete it because I don't want you to go and search for it okay so okay I'm not able to delete it that's okay so this is already added here now the first thing that you you know two things one of the two things that you do is uh, first you add the OData service so the, the system alias to the OData service so the way you do that is cancel this let's go back click on add system alias okay and then here click on new entries and then search for uh, that service OData service okay so GRAC okay so we are looking at GW VRL sum rem one okay and this has to be associated with a system alias right so we only have one select local and say click on default system and save okay then use if you are prompted to enter a transport request enter a transport request and now give us a Okay, so what we could do is right when we uh, run the risk analysis report and use the remediation view, we can f then come here and deactivate the service and then see what happens with or without the service. Okay, all right, so once this is done, let's go back and then come back in again. So the other service that you need to activate or the other two services I'm sure these are also in this list uh, the one was IWFND SGMED I want to check for that and if it's not there we can add it that's not a big big deal okay so let's just 
okay so you have that one that one here okay this is the one we need okay so this one is there and then there's another one that we need which i think is already in the added in the list uh, select this this you have two entries here right you need the cat the version 2 and or data service okay so select that and then again ensure that I, I, SICF service is activated. If it is not, then you go to this node and say activate. Okay. Or you can go to SICF from here and activate it in SICF transaction code. Either way is fine. Okay. Now once that is done, click on add system alias. And it's the same steps, right? You just go and search for SG okay so IWF and DSG med catalog 2 version 2 right that's what you needed and then you again assign system alias local and use system default click on save put it in the transport request go back okay the other one that you have is IWF and DSG underscore user service. Okay, so let's see if we find that one here somewhere. IWF and DSG user service. I think it was there somewhere. Yeah. Okay, so this is the one you need. SG, IWFND, SG underscore user underscore service. Same steps again, ensure the ICF service is active, uh, the SICF service is active and then add the system alias for that service so again let's say search for sg and iwf and user service okay and then assign the local system alias select default save it So these are the three O data services that you need to activate uh, for this new UR5 interface uh, that is your remediation view that SAP has introduced in GRC12. Okay, so this is one of the enhancements with this GRC12 that has come in, uh, the remediation view. And for that, you need three O data services that you need to be activated. One of them is IWF and DSG user service. The second one is uh, GRSAW VOL violation summary rem remediation service, right? This one, GRSAGW VIOL sum underscore this underscore SRV. And then the third one that you needed was the catalog service version 2, okay, SG med slash IWF and D slash SG underscore med underscore catalog, okay, the version 2 O data service. And for all of them, you make, for all the three, you ensure that SICF node is active and then th there is a system alias associated with the O data service, okay. So now when you execute a risk analysis report uh, and use the remediation view, you should get the report, okay? Otherwise, if the services are not active, uh, you would get a blank screen, okay? As if nothing is happening. It didn't give, doesn't give you error also. It just, it just goes blank, okay? All right. Now with these steps, so what we have seen so far, the post installation configuration for GRC have been completed. Okay, if you have any third party applications or any other applications 
like crystal reports you, you may have steps related to that that you may need to perform okay so but for right now for now we have completed the post installation configuration for GFC